How's it going, everybody? Telestro here. It, uh, it's been a minute. Uh, I haven't uploaded on this channel or my main channel in quite some time, uh, and there's a good reason for that. After Blade Show, I got COVID and died. Not, not really. Um, I did get COVID after Blade Show. Uh, on top of that, just before Blade Show was busy and crazy, and then during Blade Show was busy and crazy, and then after Blade Show got COVID, so, you know, I couldn't, uh, I was down and out for a while. I actually, excuse me, I actually, uh, while I had COVID, I was at my girlfriend's house, and I did not bring my camera, so I could not make, uh, basically anything at all. Um, but, things are changing, uh, I will be back to uploading very soon, um, that is a topic for another video. For now, this, the Prisma, which, uh, some of you may know, as a quick summary, my Marin Light, machine-wise, makes amazing knives. I bought a Marin Light, I bought it secondhand, paid a little bit extra, um, and I absolutely love the thing. It was my favorite knife ever. Uh, I absolutely adored it. I could not put the thing down. That was risky over the hardwood floor. I didn't want to make a shit ton of noise. Um, so, I couldn't put the thing down. Absolutely loved it. Favorite knife ever. So, I traded, if you guys remember the Koenig versus Kraken video, that Kraken is mine. I still have it. I own that. I love that thing. The Koenig was not mine. That was a temporary trade from somebody who at the time I was really cool with. Now things are a little bit weird just because uh, the whole situation made me a little just uncomfy because of me losing my knife that I cherish so pre uh, preciously. Basically, he got his knife back, everything was good, we traded for about two weeks so I could make that video and he could try a machine-wise product. My knife did not return to me. Um, there's evidence pointing in both directions that he stole it and also UPS stole it. So I am not going to point fingers. At this point, we're not mad at each other, or I'm not mad at him anymore. I just kind of don't talk to him very much because I'm just a little, little uncomfortable with the situation still. Anyways. So my Marin Light, my favorite knife ever, uh, is gone. It has been gone, completely lost, no idea. So I messaged Dalen, machine-wise himself, and I said, Hey, listen, I absolutely love my Marin. Uh, it's lost. I can't find another one. I paid extra money for this shit secondhand, and I'm not about to spend even more money to get one now that they're discontinued. Um, so I was like, Hey, any chance I know the Prismas aren't engraved, any chance I could get number 39 again? Because uh, that was my Marin that I lost. It was Marin number 39, and that number became, like, my number. That's my Marin. Um, so number 39, I had asked him to do for me. And he was nice enough to do what I requested, which was to put number 39 V2 on this. And the Prisma, uh, I walked up to Dalen at Blade Show, and I said, Hey, I'm the guy, 39. Uh, he gave it to me. I did pay full price for it. I bought it for him. This wasn't free or anything. Uh, I liked my Marin that much that I did buy this thing in full price and have it reserved before even knowing if I liked the Prisma. But I knew I was going to like the Prisma. Um, so, this thing feels almost exactly like the Marin did. Uh, my Marin Light. And I absolutely adore it. It is my favorite trainer ever, period. Um, like, not because it's weird, not because it's fun, it's just perfect. For me, my tastes, what I like out of a ballad song, the Prisma is absolutely, like, 10 out of 10, perfect. And having one that is number 39 V2, that carries on the legacy, was absolutely awesome. Huge, huge, major thank you to Dalen for doing this for me. Uh, he could have very easily said, no, like, that's tough, you lost your knife, oh well. Uh, but he was nice enough to throw this together for me. He didn't charge me a crazy amount. I just paid the normal Prisma price, no extra premium or anything like that. Um, he really did a homie a solid here. And during Blade Show and after Blade Show, me, Ethan, Will, and Brandon uh, had plans to come hang out. But then also, Dalen came to hang out with us. And also, Grant, Fellowship Blades, hung out with us. And hanging out with both Dalen and Grant... Those guys are so cool. Like, genuinely, not only are they making some of the coolest knives currently available, that being the Prisma, the Serif, and the Medusa, which all of I have tried. Two of them I have on me right now. Medusa's not mine. I have to give it to a friend. Um, but 
all of the uh, the the knives that I tried over Blade Show, none of them are as good as the Serif and the Prisma for their price ranges. And then the Dusa is just it's just awesome. It's honestly just such a sick knife. Um, so I love I love all of them. And hanging out with those guys was an absolute pleasure. And Dalen has quickly. Um, he was already there with the Marin Light, but with how hard the Marin Lights were to get when I bought mine, I was unsure if I really wanted to call him, like, my favorite Bala song maker, just because, you know, I hadn't tried any of his other stuff, I had never tried a Serif, I didn't know if it was good or not. Now, currently, if you ask me what my favorite maker is, it's not even a question, it is machine-wise. Uh, he was super sick to hang out with, just outside of knives in general. He was just a cool dude to hang out with. Uh, but Seraph, absolutely phenomenal. It, I tried the Tsunami. I tried all of the high-end BRS knives. I, they're cool. They're great, you know. But but nothing grabbed me the way the Seraph did. I am so incredibly excited to get one. Uh, currently, I'm not planning to order one very soon, just because. Um, I don't quite have the money for it. I have some other important life things going on. Hopefully in a few months I'll be able to order one from him. Um, but yeah, the Seraph is absolutely magnificent and it is, in my opinion, the best battle song I've ever touched. And the Prisma feels about 80% as good as the Seraph does, which comparing the price tags about 650 to 700 with a good anno on the Seraph to $150. That is absolutely absurd, and it really shows you how good of a job he did with the Prismas. These things, straight up phenomenal. I cannot find a single flaw with them in terms of my flipping style and what I like out of a knife. Of course, for you, might be a little different if you like heavier knives or you like more round knives or just shorter knives. Of course, there's a ton of different uh, personal preference things that you may not be a super, super huge fan of. However... For me, in my tastes, the Prisma is absolutely the golden standard that everything else has to live up to nowadays. This thing is absolutely perfect for me. Um, I, I genuinely was like freaking out when I got it and I gave it to everyone to try and they were like, um, they were like, holy shit, this is awesome. How much does it cost? And then I'm like, uh, 150 bucks. And every single person who didn't already know the price of the Prisma, their jaw just dropped. Because this thing is genuinely so far, it punches so hard above its weight class. This thing feels, in terms of just build quality and just flow, better almost than the Kraken. Tolerances wise, literally the best tolerances I've ever seen. Uh, it doesn't even wiggle. Like, a lot of people say, like, oh, these tolerances are perfect, and then, you know, it's got a little bit of wiggle. When you shake it, you can feel the pivots kind of, like, wobble back and forth a little bit. This doesn't move, uh, literally at all. Like, it is, it is straight up zero movement whatsoever, and I can't emphasize enough how insane that is until you try it. So please try one. They're insane. They should be in full production very, very soon. Probably sometime, like, next week or so, I think. Um, don't, don't quote me on that. That is, uh, just what I've been, what I'm speculating for the, uh, from the information I have gathered. Um, but whenever these come into production, please buy one. Dalen is such a nice guy and he's so awesome and just making the knives that he does, he deserves every single sale that he gets. Um, and just machine wise, just everything he does, everything Dalen does is top fucking notch. Um, and it's not even close to, he's just miles ahead of everybody else. I don't like to be huge shills because obviously everyone likes something different. You might like something uh, a little different from other people. For example, my second favorite trainer is my BB Bar or BB Firefly V2, which uh, was sent to me uh, as a gift. More on this later. And these two are completely different straight up like polar opposites when it comes to flipping and just uh in general style of knife but those are my two favorites so everyone likes a weird combination of different things but i can assure you the prisma is one of the best knives for the price range uh it completely stomps um just in terms of like build quality and tolerances and overall flow completely washes things uh, like the aluminum bare bones, um, some other kind of mid-range trainers. I honestly think it stomps the Nautilus completely. Uh, as a Nautilus fan, 
if I just don't touch it anymore because the Prisma is just that much better. I'm, I'm not going to be objective and say it's the best knife, but I genuinely cannot express if you like knives like this, you like things that might be a little longer, a little lighter, a little thinner. Um, the the Prisma is just, yeah, it's just, that's it. That's it. That's really, that's really all you'll need ever. Uh, this thing is freaking insane. Um, the Seraph is even better. Can't wait to get one of those. Huge thank you to Dalen for making this possible and doing this for me. Whoa, that could have been bad. He didn't have to, but he chose to, and I really appreciate him for it. Um, and, uh, yeah, Prisma is absolutely insane. Uh, super hyped to have this back. Number 39 lives on with number 39 V2. Uh, the original number 39 was all silver. So I hope to buy some silver handles from him in the future. He only had the orange ones for Blade Show, um, but he said silver sh silver is definitely going to happen. Uh, not it's not going to be like the next drop or anything. It's going to be a few colors in, but silver he said is guaranteed. He'll drop a set of them eventually. Um, so I will definitely definitely be grabbing those from him. Complete the look with number 39 V2 being all silver, and then transfer these handles onto another Prisma so I can beat it because. Um, I've dropped this one on concrete a few times. It's not perfect, uh, but it's not a beater. I still I still take a little bit of care of it. So, um, but, you know, I will transfer these handles onto a complete beater and then keep number 39, 39v2 in pristine condition when I get silver handles. Uh, but, yeah, that's, that's it for now. Uh, this thing is insane. Figured I'd post about it because I hyped this thing up so damn much. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my main YouTube channel. I have something else coming soon that you might be able to buy merch, question uh, mark. But for real, I am back or at least coming back and uh, I have a lot of things to review. For example, one, this will get a full channel review. This will get a full main channel review. Uh... This is in the process of getting a full main channel review. This will get a full main channel review. So, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff happening. I have a lot. Of, oh, that's cool. I have a lot of videos to review, but uh, they're coming. They're happening. I'm working on it. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened, but uh, videos coming soon. So make sure to keep up with the main channel. And then, uh, yeah, I should have time to upload on here more as well. So uh, thank you all for watching, and I will hopefully. See you all very soon. Bye-bye.